Hello, National University Academy students. This is Mr. Goya. Continuing my discussion of William Carlos Williams' poems, uh, we've studied The Red Wheelbarrow, um, The Great Figure, and this is just to say I wanted to give you um, another couple of uh, poems of his to really show uh, what I think he does uh, really well, and that is um, capture that emotion that the imagist is trying to evoke with only a few powerful images, but also tells but by also and also tells a short story in that time. I'm going to uh, read The Widow's Lament in Springtime. I was cut off. I had read it earlier, but I didn't realize I wasn't actually being recorded, so I was talking to myself for about a minute. <clears throat> so here's The Widow's Lament in Springtime. The Widow's Lament in Springtime. Sorrow is my own yard, where the new grass flames as it has flamed often before, but not with the cold fire that closes round me this year. Thirty-five years I lived with my husband. The plum tree is white today, with masses of flowers. Masses of flowers load the cherry branches, and color some bushes yellow and some red. But the grief in my heart is stronger than they, for though they were my joy formerly, today I notice them and turn away, forgetting. Today my son told me that in the meadows at the edge of the heavy woods in the distance he saw trees of white flowers. I feel that I would like to go there and fall into those flowers and sink into the marsh near them. Again, that's the widow's limit in springtime. Continuing our discussion of imagist, imagism and imagist poet, poets and poetry. I'm going to read you one more to give you another example. Um, kind of a, a a poet's um, attitude toward life, in a way, a poem called Pastoral, uh, again by William Carlos Williams. Pastoral. When I was younger, it was plain to me I must make something of myself. Older now, I walked the back streets, admiring the houses of the very poor. Roof out of line with sides, the yards cluttered with old chicken wire, ashes, furniture gone wrong. The fences and outhouses built of barrel staves. All parts of boxes, all, if I am fortunate, smeared a bluish green that properly weathered pleases me best of all colors. No one will believe this of vast import to the nation. So this is from a collection um, of his poetry, uh, selected poems, William Carlos Williams. Uh, and again, I hope you enjoy some of the poems in, in the imagery section for this unit, E.E. E. Cummings, H.D., Ezra Pound. Um, and of course, you're reading all this in your Prentice Hall text. Uh, please call, email, check in with me if you have questions about the unit, and I'd be happy to uh, discuss some poems with you. Uh, if you have any questions about the assignments, how to submit them, email, Skype, or call my cell phone. Talk to you soon. Bye now.